Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com, and it's past Tuesday again. Uh, this is the first one of uh, 2023, so I guess good for that. We'll have 11 more this year. Uh, this is kind of a weird month. Overall, there's not too many exploits with uh, 98, uh, with 11 of those criticals. We're getting kind of used to the, the three digits there on the exploit, so it's not bad there. Where it's unique is the one that is already being exploited and the one that's publicly known are two of the highest rated exploits for the month. They both come in at 8.8. Uh, so I guess we'll just kind of dive into the low lights and see what's the what's the worst of January. Uh, the first one we're going to cover is uh, 2023 21674, and it uh, attacks the advanced local procedure. Uh, so this one, I believe, is the one that is already exploited. Uh, it requires no user interactions and low privileges. That's all bad. The reason it's only an 8.8 .8 is because the attack vector is local, which means they have to have access to your network before they can use that one. Uh, running this one, they are actually able to uh, run on that system as system privileges, which means they can basically do anything they want. So that's a that's a bad one. That's a good one to patch. Uh, the next one we're going to cover is CVE 2023-21549. Make sure I'm on the right link this time. I am. This one's not exploited yet, but it has been publicly disclosed, which means people knew about it before the patch was there. So not exploited seems like... Uh, uh, it's, it's coming type of thing, where it's especially to 8.8. .8. This one requires no interaction. It is network variable, and it requires a little bit of privileges. This doesn't require a lot. And basically what this one they can do is they can run malicious code that will execute an RPC call, which will be able to run on an elevated privilege, giving them a bit more access. And from there, they can do more and more dangerous things. Also not a good one, uh, especially where it's network facing. That was probably the bigger risk in my mind, but I mean... I don't know. None of them are great. This last one is the third. This one is also an 8.8. .8. That's kind of the theme of uh, the exploits. That's the highest is 8.8, .8, but there was quite a few of them. Uh, this one, luckily, not known yet, or until 37 minutes ago when all this went live. Uh, this one has a network attack vector. It requires no privileges, but it does require a user to click on a malicious link. Basically, if they connect to a corrupted SQL database, this will be able to let them run code against your system. So... This one could be bad, depending on if you train your employees. If your security's on point, you, your employees, you trust them completely, you don't need to worry about it. If you know, it doesn't matter who you are, you've got employees that are going to click on something, maybe get this one patched. And that's kind of everything for January. Uh, not, not a bad one, not great. The, the nice thing about uh, Patch Tuesday is it comes on a schedule, you know what's going to be here. With the right tools, you can automate this and not have to worry about it anymore. I recommend uh, PDQ Deploy and Inventory. Uh, mostly because they signed my check, but also because they're awesome. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.